Okay, we've already discussed CSA and, and how it affects you as a truck driver. Now, I wonder how it would affect you if you was involved in a serious accident, how a plaintiff's attorney uh, would handle it. So, uh, let's just kind of take a look and see what I think could possibly happen uh, if the plaintiff's attorney got a hold of a CSA score. And, and even though even though plaintiff's attorneys, you know, we, we believe in, in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, well, what if this plaintiff's attorney decided then, well, maybe the truth, but not necessarily the whole truth, and maybe not nothing but the truth? Now, let's see what could happen if Bob, from the law firm of Bob, Bob, and Bob, attorneys of law, was a plaintiff's attorney. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my client was driving home from work one day, and on her way home from work, she was sending a warm text to her sweet mama, letting her know that she was going to stop at church and pray for her baby brother who has been sick all day. And on the way home, this defendant, this truck driver, who must have been distracted, probably on a cell phone, and could have ran a red light, crashed into my client, injuring her. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we did an extensive research on this truck driver, and we pulled up his CSA points. This young man has 30 CSA points against him. Count them, 30 points. Now, let me put this into a little perspective. If a truck driver gets stopped at the scales, and his license is suspended. He is disqualified from driving a CME. He gets two points against him. This young man has 30 CSA points against him. If a driver gets caught illegally and properly a load of explosives, a bomb, he gets six points against his CSA score. This young man has 30 points. Now what does this tell you about the kind of truck driver and the kind of truck drivers this company hires to put out on the highway amongst the innocent motoring public? Well, that's quite a production, being that all you really did was cross the scales with a flat tire. You know, you've got eight points for the flat tire, two points because you've been put out of service, time weighted by three. Let's hope you have a good defensive attorney they can really get out there and make the jury understand what CSA is really all about. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, may I contend that CSA slash SMS methodology forbids you from transferring or comparing severity scores from one basic to the next. I would also contend that plaintiff's counsel did not consider time waiting into his calculations. Now that didn't put the jury to sleep. Let's see if we can wake him up. Ladies and other gentlemen of the jury, let me remind you that this truck driver could have been parking a, a bomb in the middle of Central Park and he would have only got six points against his CSA, yet this young man has 30 points against his CSA. What does that tell you about the kind of driver we have here that crashed into my client and the kind of driver this company hires to let drive amongst the innocent motoring public one of these huge, heavy, massive 18 wheelers? What does that tell you? Your Honor, I rest my case. Well, that's kind of the way I think things would have went if uh, your plaintiff's attorney may have believed in the truth, but not necessarily the whole truth and nothing but the truth. This is the kind of way I think it would have happened if Bob, from the law firm of Bob, Bob and Bob, attorneys of law, uh, who is normally a defense attorney, you know, Bob, Bob and Bob, we settle fast. This is his first chance into the plaintiff's world, so uh, that's the way I think it would have gone. We'll discuss CSA a little more in depth later.